Amoongus has remained a staple of VGC in nearly every format it's ever been allowed in. Between its incredible bulk, its phenomenal ability, good defensive typing, thick luscious mushroom caps, and a side of coleslaw, it's never had to fight for a place in the metagame. Even during the most power crep metagames in history like VGC 2019 or VGC 2022 with Dynamax restricted Pokemon running around, Amoongus has always been the top dog. That has changed. With the introduction of the Regulation E rule set and several changes to the game in Generation 9, Amoongus has hit a record low in terms of VGC usage. Truth be told, I have a folder of memes about Amoongus being back and a folder of memes about it being over for the little guy, and after the low regional championships, I decided to delete the first one. So let's talk about why it's all ogre for Amoongus. Of course, if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm planning on doing something big really soon, but really quick, I want to thank you all for helping me hit 100,000 subscribers. I really appreciate the support support and I have something big coming down the pipeline so keep your eyes on the channel because it's going to be really cool. Anyways, let's get into the video. So what's going on with Amoongus nowadays? Well, ever since Regulation E began, we've seen a precipitous decrease in Amoongus usage, and thus a decrease in Amoongus top cut results. While we can attribute this to new toy syndrome with Rillaboom gaining Grassy Glide and no shortage of brand new grass types with four flavors of Ogre Pond running around, the truth is it's kind of just a rough metagame for Amoongus to succeed in right now. Let's break it down point by point. There's too many good grass types running around for Amoongus to find a spot on most teams. Before Regulation E, either Amoongus or Rillaboom were basically the default grass type for your team. While Rillaboom was the option you'd go for for higher damage output, grassy terrain recovery for your team, and access to tools like Fake Out and Knock Off, Amoongus was the more supportive option between the two, with access to Pollen Puff, Rage Powder Redirection, and Regenerator to keep it alive for a really long time. Now that Rillaboom has access to Grassy Glide, it's more tempting than before, with Grassy Glide able to deal massive priority damage to Pokemon with Terra Grass Miracle Seed at its disposal. Beyond that, there's two forms of Ogre Pond that see heavy usage in Regulation E. The Fire Ogre Pond is not only capable of one-shotting Amoongus with super effective Ivy Cudgel, but it's also typically ran next to Rillaboom, meaning that its teams already have two grass types, so, so obviously Amoongus won't have a spot open for it on those teams. Water Ogre Pond, on the other hand, is much more direct competition for it. Yes, it has offensive potential with Terra Water Ivy Cudgel dealing way too much damage for what is, in heavy air quotes here, a support Pokemon, but it also has access to better redirection in Follow Me. The reason Follow Me is preferred over Rage Powder is due to the limitations that Rage Powder has as a move. Rage Powder is not only ignored by grass types, but any Pokemon holding the item safety goggles. This means that the likes of Terra Grass Pokemon can instantly invalidate anything Amoongus can do to stop them in their tracks. Ogre Pond has none of these drawbacks while also stuffing Amoongus entirely. This is because, as a grass type, Ogre Pond is both immune to Spore and Rage Powder and capable of redirecting the spores into itself to protect partners while itself will never fall asleep. In short, it's Ogre. It's just Ogre. Another indirect way Ogre Pond is able to make the metagame worse for Amoongus is the fact that Ogre Pond makes Heatran a much more desirable Pokemon for teams. Terrafire Ogre Pond is capable of one-shotting basically anything it wants with Embody Aspect boosted Terrafire Ivy Cudgel. Heatran is able to prevent Ogre Pond players from pressing the Terra button because if they do, Ogre Pond loses its ability of Mold Breaker and thus the potential to beat Heatran. Heatran existing in the opponent's team can cause the opponent to think twice about the play and make them slip up down the road or just end up being in a worse position overall. It's also just a generally great Pokemon into the rest of the format, with the ability to take on Fluttermane, Rillaboom, Chen Pao, and of course, Amoongus. Since Heatran has Flash Fire as an ability that makes it immune to fire moves, it typically runs Terra Grass to remove its times for ground weakness while also making it immune to Spore and Rage Powder. Finally, a more subtle nail in the coffin for Amoongus is its bad matchup into Cresselia teams. Amoongus could be used to shut down opposing Trick Room teams by moving first under Trick Room and sleeping the opposing team. As of Generation 9, Cresselia has gained access to a brand new move in Lunar Blessing. This move move not only heals the whole active team by 25% of their health, but it also cures any status conditions they may have. Recently, VGC players have realized that the best item for Cresselia is just straight up always going to be the safety goggles. That means that it itself will never be put to sleep, and thus it can be used as an instant wake-up button for partner Pokemon like Iron Hands or Heatran, invalidating one of the main reasons to run Amoongus in the first place. Beyond all those reasons though, the format is just generally not an Amoongus friendly place right now, with Hisuian Arcanine and Chen Pao having really consistent results across the board and the ability to one-shot Amoongus. But this all should be taken with a grain of salt. Amoongus may not be as valuable as it once was, but it's never going to be bad. Regenerator, Spore, and Rage Powder all in one package are far too valuable for VGC players to drop it all together. It's currently just at a low point in usage due to metagame conditions, and it will almost certainly see a rise in usage again when the time is right. But what do you think about Amoongus in the current format? Is it washed or just waiting for the right time to strike? Thank you to my Patreon supporters and the channel members for supporting my channel. If you want to see your name at the end of my videos, get access to bonus videos each week, and most importantly, feed Brian Hands a booster energy, be sure to check out my Patreon page or click the join button below this video to become a member. And special thanks to my 
most boosted supporters Kanor, Narwiz, and Joseph B for their generous pledges. Be sure to check out the playlist of other competitive Pokemon discussion videos right after this one, and thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.